story with this one. One was a really good friend of mine who's meant to be here, but she couldn't make it unfortunately. And uh, she's not she's not in the greatest shape per se. I mean, she she struggled with the hike desperately. So we got we left at around 11 o'clock in the morning. It took us about four or five hours to get to this place. And as soon as we got here, we were so excited about seeing it. I mean, we literally went bonkers and we shot like crazy. It was not only that. The other side of it is there's the water that's flowing here and goes all the way up here and behind it is the rest of the canyon that goes back, which obviously you can't see. So there's, there's a lot to shoot here and we need to spend hours, which we did. Um, and we kind of got caught out by time. So we left very late, we left at around 3 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it took us a really long time to get there. She forgot her flashlight, it got pitch black. Um, my flat, the only thing we had was my phone and my GPS watch. And frankly, I had a recording of the um, breadcrumb trailer of everything that we went. If it wasn't for that GPS watch, we would have stayed there for the night and we were not prepared. So keep that in mind if you want to go and shoot somewhere. Um, but we made it and it was, it was, we had to climb the whole mesa to the top. We took the wrong turn still, even with the GPS watch. And uh, it was, in a way, it kind of made the shot that much more worthwhile for us because it had a story to it. We pretty much didn't um, but yeah, this is, um, I believe this was the 17 mil toe shift lens that I, I love to use a lot of my, on a lot of my images. Exposure here, from what, just from looking at this from memory, is probably around 3 or 4 seconds. So, and this is all natural light. So what you see here is natural light. It's just, it was 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so it was great light. And I cut it off at the top, but there's actually, the rest of it kind of goes up to the sky. It's actually trees all the way to the top there, but it's not quite as dramatic. But cutting the top off just makes it stand out, I guess, a little bit more. And, uh, and this is printed on metallic paper. It's Canon metallic paper, in the chair. Um, same as this one, this is metallic paper as well, and those three are on 